Onkwejo. President, please be seated. Le président. The court is now Veuillez back in session. Reprise de débat. We would like now to hand over to the prosecution. Nous laissons à nouveau la parole à l'accusation pour euh, sa présentation. Thank you, Mr. President. Le procureur. We were looking at document E3-275, which contains the April 1976 speech given by Q. Sampan as chairman of the state presidium. And we will, I will read a couple of paragraphs paragraphs which are again relevant to consideration of Q. Sampan's endorsement uh, and support for the policies that Your Honours are considering. Um, the next passage is at ERN 00167632, as I indicated at the moment, only available in English. He states the following, quote, at present, our people, workers, peasants, and revolutionary army themselves determine their own destiny entirely independent. No imperialism, colonialism, or oppressive reactionary classes can determine the destiny of our people, workers, peasants, and revolutionary army. Our entire nation has clearly and forever written with its own fresh blood a new and brilliant page of history for our race and for coming generations. Nothing can erase or make us forget it. The dark past can never return. A little bit further down, he says, the victory that our people, workers and peasants on this era, of this era, have scored over the most ferocious and the most inhumane U.S. imperialists is even more brilliant and splendid than the Angkor Temple. He then goes on to discuss the state institutions which were established. Um, so I will not read those passages because they're similar to the earlier speech that we looked at dealing with the Constitution. Sur la Constitution que nous avons tout à the next passage that I will read is at ERN 00167636, and this really looks to the future and the tasks before the people. Quote, following the liberation, that is from 17 April 1975 to the present, our advance was made with an equally incredible speed. In just one year, we achieved in all aspects as much as one would in 10 years. Our advance is of course rapid, but we still have so much to do and our road is still long. For example, we still have the task of implementing our democratic Cambodian constitution correctly, thoroughly, perfectly and steadily. The task of always maintaining the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, vigilance to protect and preserve our country as a whole. This speech was delivered in April 1976. Moving forward in time, Your Honours, the next document is a speech delivered in August 1976, this time at the Fifth Summit Conference of the Non-Aligned Countries held in Colombo, Sri Lanka, on the 16th to the 19th of August, 1976. The ERN, the E-number e is E3-549. 
Le texte en anglais et en translation. Il y a une traduction We partielle en français et nous avons demandé que le reste du texte soit traduit en français. This is a speech given at an international forum. Il s'agit d'un discours français again, devant une tribune internationale. The speech endorses some of the policies et dans ce discours, on y of the leadership la validation of the Communist Party politique du Cambodge démocratique. And I will read a couple of passages to illustrate. Je vais en lire quelques extraits. At Khmer IRN 0006590000, and English IRN 0064493829. He deals with the challenges experienced by the new government of Cambodia and the alleged subversive enemy activities que doit surmonter le Cambodge démocratique that give rise to some of those challenges. Les ennemis, la présence alléguée d'ennemis. He says the following, qui serait la cause de ces obstacles et défis. Je cite. Besides, the enemy still carried on its attempt to destroy the results of the les victory of our people, as shown by the affair of Mayagas in May 1975 and the bombing of the city of Siem Reap in February 1976. In spite of that, we have overcome all our obstacles, undertaken actively our production work based mainly on the principle of self-reliance. Since liberation, we have succeeded in solving the living conditions of our people. Particularly, we have solved the problem of food. Since liberation, we have succeeded in solving the living conditions of our people, and in particular, the problem of alimentary. And towards the end of that rather long paragraph, paragraph he says long. the following, il, il nevertheless, néanmoins, we constantly have to strengthen our revolutionary vigilance, vigilance for our innumerable experiences have taught us that the enemy would never give up their dark schemes to destroy our revolution. De de notre revolution. Again, Your Honours, uh, there was a reference there to the bombing of the city of Siem Reap in February 1976. And as I indicated earlier, that event is dealt with in the Office 870 Directive, where it is described in very similar terms to those we just heard. And that directive, again, for the record, was document E3-1173. The next document is a record of an interview which Q. Sam Pan gave during his attendance at the conference in Colombo. And it is document E3-608. This document is available in all three languages. It is entitled Q. Sampan interviewed on executions, national problems. Concernant les executions, les problèmes nationaux. It is, pub it is a publication, or rather a transcript of a publication, de la transcription that originated in Italy. De and the title of the original publication was Familia Christiana, I believe. De and this was published on the 26th of crois, September, 1976. The document is relevant because document it contains Q. Sampan's responses to en allegations on y retrouve les réponses de Q. Sampan à des allégations in September 1976 of mass crimes being committed in Cambodia. De crime de masse, comme au Cambodge. And looking at Khmer ERN 00635928, French 00632566, and English 00419841. The interview has the following section. 
Question. Mr. Question. Chairman, what is the present Monsieur situation Président. in Cambodia? Quelle est la situation actuelle au Cambodge? Democratic Cambodia Réponse. is facing Le one of the most difficult periods of its history. The present situation derives from the fact that ours is a small country that has had to go through a five-year war against an enemy whose strength was Im immensely greater from any point of view. In a situation such as this, everyone must work if the country's problems are to be resolved. This means everyone without distinction and as soon as they are able to do so. Question. According to some news accounts, 600,000 Cambodians lost their lives during the war. Another 800,000 perished after the war. The allegation is that this latter group comprises individuals who have been suppressed by the Khmer Rouge for political reasons. Is there any truth to these rumors? Answer. Cambodians who lost their lives during the war number more than one million. The story of massacres, which is being publicized by sections of the Western press at regular intervals, is a disgraceful slander spread by traitors who have fled democratic Cambodia. Now, many of those Cambodians who had fled to France have returned to their country willingly. Question. Have you conducted regular proceedings against war criminals, or have you quickly liquidated those who are unable to escape from Cambodia? Answer. Why must we always talk about these things? The criminals had committed Les such crimes against the democratic Cambodia that they deserved the most vigorous abhorrence. After all, this is what the people wanted. Tout, ce que le I wish to be very emphatic about this. The revolutionaries are no assassins. Ne sont pas des assassins. Question. question. Mr. Chairman, please extend Monsieur me the Président, courtesy of answering my question. question. Answer. Réponse. Those traitors who remain in democratic Cambodia Cambodge, have been Executed. Question. Question. What is the present population of Quelle Cambodia? Population du Cambodge? Answer. Réponse. The present population of the democratic Cambodia is 5 million. 5 million Question. Question. At the start of the war, there were 7 million people guerre, living in Cambodia. If 1 million died in the war, si what happened to the rest? Guerre, Answer. Réponse. It's incredible how you Westerners care about what happens to war criminals. In any case, if you want an accurate account, you must consider the number of Cambodians who have left for Thailand, France, the United States, and other countries. And finally, before we leave this document, a passage at Khmer ERN 0635931, 0 French 0063257, and English 0041983. Question. How is it possible Question. for a people as traditionally individualistic as the Cambodian people to accept Comme a system of government question, that reduces everyone to the same level. Answer, we have just emerged from a war that destroyed three-fourths of the country, a war that was provoked by capitalist imperialism. imperialism. In such a situation, the situation, question of individualism question would be an inconceivable luxury. Question. question. The Cambodian people have always been very religious. Does the new government respect freedom of religion? Answer. The new constitution respects freedom of religion as it respects all other beliefs. Of course, this does not imply respect also for some old privileges enjoyed by the religious class or by others. Just like everyone else, Comme tout le monde, even Buddhist monks have the duty and obligation ont le devoir to work. Obligation de that concludes the speeches given in 1976. Voilà pour Now, as we move into 1977, 1977, Your Honours, we'd like to uh, play another video recording. 
and this is contained in D295 slash 2.65R. It apparently dates from qui semblerait late 1977, and it is footage of a state visit by the Laotian president, Sopanovon. And in the video, as far as we can ascertain, um, et present are Q Sampan, Nguyen Chia, Yingsu, and Von Vett. As your honours are aware, another member of the Standing Committee. Comme vous le savez, ce dernier était un autre membre. We have um, six segments uh, prepared with the AV units, um, and they will be played back to back. Et your honours, with your permission. So, Mr. President, if you permit, permission, we will now play videos. Je demanderai donc in the AV units table, videos C, C one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, five. 7 5, and 13. 7 et 13 ah, président. The President, you may proceed. AV Assistant, please uh, play the video clip as per the request by the co prosecutor
the relevance of that video, Your Honours, of course, is bien évidemment, ce, not only ces extra vidéos sont tout à fait pertinents. That it contains footage of Kusampan. Il montre non seulement des images de Kusampan performing his functions as head of state of the Democratic Campuchia, comme chef du Campuchia but also that it has him traveling around the country and uh, le inspecting the uh, cadre at various, at various sites. We're now in 1977, and the next speech that is available in the case file Ensuite, was given by Kyo Sampan. It's the 1977 anniversary speech. This is contained in E3 slash 2001. Two zero one. Two zero one. Two zero one. And it was a speech delivered on the 15th of April 1977. As we will see, this speech deals with a number of relevant topics, Comme including de le constater, ce the need to maintain vigil vigilance and fight de la against the enemy, dans la lutte contre les ennemis. the allocation by the central authorities of food rations la. throughout the country, Mise en place de rations alimentaires par les instances centrales de rations alimentaires par tous les pays. Et on y discute aussi de grands sites de travail, des dizaines de milliers de travailleurs et aussi d'autres éléments comme l'instruction, enfin l'éducation formelle. Nous allons commencer à Khmer IRN. Commençons par la première page entière, 00 292. 804 to 805 à 805 French ERN 00 the English ERN is not available to me at, at present it is on the second page of this document um, my printed copy does not seem to have ERNs but I will supply it immediately after the break the first passage is as follows. Je dis le premier extrait. Quote, immediately after liberation, Tout de suite après when la we suffered libération. untold difficulties, as we had just Alors emerged from the devastating nom, US imperialist war, the enemy failed to cause us any Américains. serious trouble. Pas pu nous causer aucun problème sérieux. Today, the enemy certainly cannot do us any harm. Ne peut certainement nous faire aucun this is our firm belief, stemming from concrete, practical evidence. Concrets, pratique. However, we must carry on the task of defending our democratic Cambodia, protect our worker peasant administration, and preserving the fruits of our Cambodian revolution. Les fruits de notre By resolutely suppressing all categories of enemies, les preventing them from committing aggression, de mener des interference, or subversion against us, ou de subversion à notre we à must notre wipe out the enemy in our capacity as masters of the situation, nous devons following the lines of domestic policy, foreign policy, and military policy of our revolutionary organization. Everything must be done neatly and thoroughly. We must not become absent-minded, careless, or forgetful because of past victories. On the contrary, we must further steel ourselves, remain alert, constantly maintain the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, and continue to fight and suppress all strikes of enemy at all times. I've just been handed the English ERN for this passage. It is 00004165. The next passage deals with the issue of food, and it states, quote, in 1976, we managed to solve our problems and fulfill the production plan. As a result, we harvested a good crop for 1977. Now we can feed our people a sufficient ration allocated by the state. We even have a surplus of, game, of grain for export. 
the relevance there, of course, is the recognition that food rations are allocated by the state. The next passage is a few paragraphs down at Khmer ERN 0029280792. French 00612167. And it deals with the work sites that are found in Cambodia. Therefore, we can see that our countryside is undergoing tremendous changes. Each construction site of a reservoir canal or dam is manned by as many as 10,000, 20,000, or even 30,000 workers. For this reason, the work progresses quickly. In the next paragraph, have these achievements been made possible by machines? No, we have no machines. We do everything by mainly relying on the strength of our people. We work completely self-reliantly. This shows the overwhelming heroism of our people. This also shows the great forces of our people. Though barehanded, they can do everything. Now, three paragraphs down from that passage, he says the following. What changes have been brought to the daily life of our people? The people's living conditions are directly related to the national defense of democratic Cambodia, to all endeavors aimed at consolidating and expanding our worker peasant administration, and to our nation building efforts our country has a small population, making it necessary for us rapidly to strengthen and expand our population, protect the existing forces, feed the existing forces, and expand new forces. This is the political line dictated by our revolutionary organization. Therefore, we must nurture our people a sufficient amount of three, two, and a half, or two small tin cans of rice is allocated daily. Moreover, there is dessert. In the past, how many times did the poor and lower middle peasants eat sweet foods per month? Very rarely. They could afford only green guava and other fruits. On average, they now eat dessert three times a month, which is sufficient to take care of their health and fatten them up. The next passage is at Khmer ERN 0029281117. French 0061217. Effectively, the next page in English. From the last page we were reading. Quote. Therefore, our goal is to work serve the nation-building movement and learn technical skills at the same time. Whether the dams and reservoirs that we have built last only five or ten years does not matter. In the five or ten years to come, we shall be much more developed, richer and more experienced than we are now, and we will grasp many more technical skills than we do now. And he then goes on to close the speech by referring to the need to continue to uphold revolutionary vigilance. This is one page down from the passages I just read. He says, quote, we should be proud of our past successes, but we should not become reckless, careless, and forgetful because of these achievements. We must, by contrast, become more humble, alert, and careful, 
and respect Attentive. and follow every line of our revolutionary organization more steadily. If we can do this resolutely, we shall certainly succeed in further strengthening and expanding our successes. We must uphold our spirit of revolutionary vigilance at all times against the enemy from all quarters, both at home and abroad to defend democratic Cambodia, protect the worker peasant administration, and preserve the fruits of our revolution resolutely and permanently. The next public announcement or speech that Q. Sampan gave, and that we have available on the file, is found in document D108-28.21. And currently, it has not been allocated any three number. It is a statement delivered by Q. Sampan on the 30th of December 1977, and it is essentially a statement on the break of, revela of, of relations with the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The relevance of this speech is that it contains discussions of alleged Vietnamese subversive activities in Cambodia and attempts to stage coup d'etat, which, as your honors are aware, Comme le are juge, a recurring theme il là in the statements of the leadership, particularly when it comes to the policy with respect to enemies. Surtout en ce qui concerne la politique envers les ennemis. This, the Passages I wish to refer to begin at Khmer ERN 00229017, French ERN 00345466, and English 00160065. Q. Sampan discusses the armed clashes between the Vietnamese forces and Cambodian forces in late 1977, and he goes on to consider the reasons for these clashes and the alleged aggression by Vietnamese forces. He says the following, quote, what are the causes which led the SRV armed forces to carry out this aggression, destruction and plunder in the territory of democratic Cambodia and against the innocent Cambodian people? According to the true and innumerable proofs and according to Vietnam's strategic basis, the causes are as follows. The immediate reason is that the aggressive SRV armed forces have carried out such acts of violation and aggression against the Cambodian territory in order to plunder rice and livestock from the Cambodian people to help solve their hunger problem. Two paragraphs down, quote, but the basic cause is the fact that the SRV, for a long time, has held the strategic aim to include Cambodia as a member of the Vietnamese-dominated Indo-Chinese Federation. Adhering to this strategic basis, the SRV, for many years, has carried out activities to exert pressure, force, and provoke Cambodia Sur in order to prevent Cambodia from existing in independence and sovereignty. In the next paragraph, paragraph which is suivant, numbered three, the following passage occurs. Because of Cambodia's correct stance 
the SRV has carried out many maneuvers and committed several criminal acts, including inciting a handful of Cambodian traitors to create a new party as its tool in order to destroy the KCP, the Cambodian Communist Party. And when they set up their sanctuaries in Cambodian territory since 1965, and especially in the period following the 18 March 1970 coup d'etat, the SRV secretly appointed a group of evil men and turned them into a special Cambodian army as its instrument on Cambodian soil, creating a special Cambodian state administration to oppose and attack the Cambodian revolutionary state power under the KCP's leadership, to divide and destroy the Cambodian revolutionary army, and so forth. However, these plans for Vietnam were successfully defeated, or rather successively defeated, by the Cambodian people and Cambodian Revolutionary Army from 1965 to 1975. Three paragraphs down, he looks at 1975 and 1976. This is a Khmer ERN 00229020, French 00345468. And English 00166067. It's a brief passage but relevant. Quote, in 1975 and 1976, Vietnam continually conducted aggression and carried out criminal activities in an attempt to stage a coup d'etat overturning democratic Cambodia through a handful of traitorous forces which were Vietnam's agents. Part of the relevance of this, of this particular speech, Your Honours, is that the confessions of, Viet of Vietnamese soldiers which were broadcast in this period and which we have put before you in previous hearings contain similar allegations against Vietnam, allegations of subversion and attempts to um, effect a coup d'etat against the communist leadership in Cambodia. The final speech that we would look at is the 1978 anniversary speech delivered by Q. Sampan. And this is found in document E3-169. It is also contained in E3-562. I will be reading initially from E3-169. It is a speech delivered by Comrade Q. Sampan, Chairman of the State Presidium of Democratic Kampuchea, at the mass meeting held on the occasion of the third anniversary of the grandiose victory of 17 April and the founding of Democratic Kampuchea. The speech is relevant because it contains, again, uh, endorsements of and su support for the policies of the Communist Party leadership. Fixé par la direction du PCK. The speech opens with a discussion of the grandiose victory of the 17th of April. April qui est décrite. And I'll read one illustrative passage Je vais found at Khmer ERN Zero zero seven zero four seven zero four five one five five one five French S zero 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 four eight zero two and English zero zero two eight zero three eight nine three hundred eighty nine and the passage is as follows quote Je cite, now our working class 
peasantry and the revolutionary army are complete masters of their own destiny, which they enjoy in all independence and sovereignty. No imperialist, no colonialist, and no class of exploiters and reactionary forces can again decide the destiny de of our working class, our peasantry, and our revolutionary army of Campuchia. The honor and dignity of the working class and the peasantry of Campuchia that have been dragged in the mud for thousands of years have been brilliantly restored. The dark era is now a thing of the past and will never resurface again. The next passage, passage suivant, again returns to the theme of alleged Vietnamese subversive activities and the concern of the leadership Vietnam, with those activities. Khmer ERN S00704517 French S00004803 and English En anglais, 00 280 391. Quote, Et je cite, Concerning the eastern border, fighting between us and Vietnam is fierce et Vietnam and persistent because Vietnam is devoured by the sinister ambition to annex Campuchian territory according to its plan of the quote, Indo Chinese Federation. End quote which it is obstinately implementing. This year, année, fighting has been fiercer than last year, the reason being that Vietnam's tactics to annex Cambodia, especially its subversive spying, infiltration activities, and coup attempts to overthrow the Communist Party of Cambodia and the government of Democratic Cambodia, have all been woefully defeated. The next passage I wish to read passage calls suivant. on the army to Ici, eradicate the Vietnamese invader. It is a Khmer ERN S00704519, French S00004804. And English 00. 280392. It is a single long sentence long phrase. that reads as follows. Je lis. We are all determined Nous to draw inspiration from the noble and sublime de revolutionary, revolutionary heroism noble et sublime of our revolutionary army by always en raising higher plus and rendering as solid as steel our revolutionary patriotism and our revolutionary pride in our nation, our people, our revolutionary army, our, revolutionary, our revolution and our party by resolutely placing the interests of the nation, the class, the people, and the revolution, de la revolution above personal and family interests et and mobilizing all our efforts to accomplish all the tasks entrusted to each of us by the party and contributing et through our daily activities to radically eliminate forever from the territory of Cambodia all enemy aggressors especially Vietnam, the aggressor, eager to grab and annex our territory. The next passages deal with the importance of political indoctrination or po importance of the teaching of politics ou de de la politique. to the cadre in the revolutionary movement. And movement it also relates to the notion that democratic Cambodia is a democratic state. Khmer ERN S00704522. French S00704517. 
4806 in English 00 280 295 Quote Must we learn technology and science? Certainly, but we should specify that we do not study technology that is not embedded in nation building. Technical studies are closely related, linked to practice and production. By so doing, we intend to build an independent economy. We want to reinforce our present position to have an independent economy, which we intend to consolidate and develop in the future. That is the way to proceed, which is both appropriate and scientific. In the next paragraph, he says the following. It is by so doing that all the masses can acquire knowledge and take control of their lives of their own state authority, correction, which is not the state authority in the hands of a handful of individuals, as it was the case in the previous regime. All the people are masters of the country, the masters of the state authority, hold the destiny of the country in their hands and actively participate in nation building. Such power is therefore very solid. We train our political and technical cadre in the revolutionary movement. We are therefore sure to continue to train them as we go along. If we trained our cadre only in schools, Detached from the revolutionary movement of the masses, we would not be able to meet the needs of this revolutionary movement. Two paragraphs down, he returns to the theme of imperialists and expansionists. Quote, over the past year, our people's revolutionary forces have considerably developed and grown in strength. Our people have relentlessly fought to defend the country against imperialists, expansionists, annexationists, and reactionary forces of all sorts to lead the socialist revolution and boost production. The next paragraph, he says this. At the same time, our people are increasingly satisfied with our socialist collectivist regime. They have become increasingly aware of the power of this regime, which can effectively defend and build the country by force and rapidly improve the people's standard of living in all independence and sovereignty, while relying on its own forces at the highest level. A little bit further down, Khmer ERN S00704525, French S00004807, and English 00280397. Quote, the fact that we successfully defended our country by smashing the destructive activities of the American imperialists and the lackeys, the fact that we successfully shattered the destructive activities of the expansionists, annexationists, and reactionary forces of all sorts, especially the criminal acts of the aggressor which wants to grab and annex our territory, and the fact that we have improved our economy within a short time span, rapidly build our country in every domain by leaps and bounds, and speedily raised our people's standard of living in total independence and sovereignty while relying on our own forces at the highest level. Let our friends from near and far, as well as people who love independence and justice, the world over, to increasingly express their sympathy and to actively support us every day. He concludes this speech with a call for a consolidation of the victories and their further developments. He says the following. 
We have to consolidate and develop these victories and continue to forge ahead. As such, we have to relentlessly pursue the struggle to accomplish the tasks of the party, everyone in his unit and domain. In concrete terms, first task, we must defend tooth and nail the country, the revolution, the power, the people, the army, the party, and the Kampuchean race. We can only succeed if we properly implement the party line in external as well as internal defence. All the units throughout the country must continue to increase their revolutionary vigilance. Earlier, Your Honours, I referred to another document which contains a transcript of this speech, and that was E3-562, E3-562. And the reason this second document is of interest and relevance is because it contains a number of resolutions that were adopted at this mass meeting where Kyu Sampan delivered the speech. And the, the list of resolutions is quite long, so I will quote briefly from it. This is at Khmer ERN. 00249989 in French 00280379 and English 00010563 it states in the field of national defense dans le domaine de la défense nationale under number Four, Chiffre to expel Chiffre resolutely quatre. from Cambodian territory and destroy forever all the expansionist, annexationist, Vietnamese aggressors. Number five, Cinquième to exterminate resolutely all agents of the expansionist, annexationist, Vietnamese aggressors from our units and from Cambodian territory forever. Number six, to exterminate Premier resolutely six, all CIA agents from our units and Cambodian territory forever. CIA. And lastly, I'll quote number nine, la, to enhance the moral, Résolution. physical, and mental strength Renforcer of each individual, each unit, et de and the nation as a whole, unité, and maintain nation national unity in the struggle to exterminate the enemies of all stripes particularly the expansionist, annexationist, Vietnamese enemies, in order to preserve the nation and the Cambodian race forever. Your Honours, those were the speeches that we wished to present today. Um, Madame, I would now move on to the next topic, which deals with correspondence to Thu Sampan. Uh, by Amnesty International, in which la correspondence entre concerns Kyu are raised Pan, about allegations of massacre in Cambodia. This may be an appropriate time sur to des de massacre au Cambodge. Le moment est sans doute opportun de marquer la pause. The President. Le President. Yes, uh, thank you. It is Merci. now appropriate time for lunch bon moment, adjournment. Quoi. The chamber will adjourn until 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned. Some Jane Groucho.